With summer right around the corner, my friends, whether you live somewhere that's extremely hot or you're going on vacation somewhere that's going to be extremely hot, today we are talking about six different ways you can stay comfortable and still look really stylish when it's hot as <laughs> Stick around. Hey friends, welcome back, Parker here. If you are new to the channel, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that don't break the bank. You do not have to be spending a ton to be looking and feeling good. If you like the sound of that, join the gang. As we all know, hot weather is uncomfortable. Not only that, it's not really that conducive to fashion. We have fewer pieces to work with because you don't want to wear a ton of stuff when it's extremely hot. So the first way that you can look great and still stay cool is to Monochrome styling is one of my favorite hacks. I even did a whole video on it. Essentially, it's when you wear a full outfit made up of different shades of the same one color. There are lots of reasons it's a great style move. A big one is it can elongate the appearance of your torso, making you look taller. So for the short kings out there, highly recommend it. But the reason I like it so much for when it's hot outside is because we don't have a lot of pieces to work with as we talked about. So making sure they're all just in different shades of one color, it's going to appear a lot more put together and it's really pretty easy to do. You can match exactly or you can do different shades of one color. It's totally up to you. This brings us to point number two. I am normally someone who thinks fitted clothes are always a good idea. They're classic, they never go out of style, they're more flattering to the most body types. However, when it's really hot, too fitted or even worse, tight clothing is just not your friend, it's not comfortable. You're much better off really just letting it flow with some oversized stuff. It could be an oversized linen shirt, that's one of my favorite ways to wear it with some smaller shorts or a big lightweight pair of pants that's nice and flowy with just an easy t-shirt. Leaving some room to breathe is gonna make you a lot more comfortable and you know, it's just science that you're gonna look sexy with a big flowy shirt with some buttons undone. I can't explain it. Obviously, accessories are always going to enhance your style. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love them all. However, as much as I love how they can separate you from everybody else, that's my normal go-to reason for wearing accessories. The great thing about wearing them when it's hot outside is they can be really functional. Hats and sunglasses especially are a great way to keep your skin and your eyes protected from those harsh UV rays from the sun. Play around with different types. I'm a big fan of a trucker hat. You could do a straw hat if that's something you're into. You know, mix and match them into your casual outfits, especially if you're gonna be spending a lot of time outside. Color choice when it's hot out can be the difference between sweating a ton or not that much. Whites and tans are really great in the sunshine because they don't attract as much heat and they work on pretty much any skin tone. I'm a big fan of linen in white and tan, whether that's shirts, shorts, pants, everything. You could even do a monochromatic outfit in these lighter tones and incorporate multiple of the tips we're talking about today. If white and tan feel a little bit too boring, you wanna add some color, lean more towards pastels or basically just lighter versions of earth tones. When I say breathability, I'm talking mainly about fabric choice. Linen, cotton, seersucker, these are all very lightweight, breathable fabrics that aren't gonna hold heat in and cause you to overheat and sweat. You wanna avoid fabrics that have a natural stretch, things like polyester, elastane. Those are very comfortable for certain things, but that type of material really does not let heat escape very well. So it's, again, just gonna make you sweat even more, even though that stretch is pretty comfortable sometimes, it's not something you wanna be wearing when it's really hot out. The best way to do this is just to check your garment tags and aim for 100% cotton, 100% linen. If there's like 5% or less of one of those stretch materials, you should be fine, but ideally you'd love to not have them at all. Finally, breathability is not all about fabric choice. It can also be considered in your footwear as well. When it is super hot, I'm talking like 100 degrees plus, Go for an open-toed shoe, like a Birkenstock sandal. I'm not a huge flip-flop person, but if that's your style, more power to you. These are great in more casual outfits. Just be sure you're taking care of your feet. You don't need to go get a full-on pedicure, but at least make sure your foot is washed, clip your nails, just the basics. I also love a warache sandal if you prefer something closed-toed, which I usually do, or if you are getting a little bit more dressy, say for like an outdoor beachy wedding, these are really smart because heat escapes 
mainly through the tops of our heads and through our feet. So by having something that is very breathable there, not covering it in a sock and a heavy leather shoe, you're going to be able to allow heat to escape more easily and not cause you to overheat and sweat a bunch. There you go, guys. Now you know six easy ways to stay cool, look good, feel confident, because I know if you're out there just breaking a crazy sweat, it can really kind of get on your mental and sort of affect how you feel about yourself. But also recognize sweating is a normal human thing. It's going to happen. So the more you can kind of just embrace it, maybe even laugh it off, the better. I put some links down in the description to a lot of things at a bunch of different budgets. So if you guys are interested in getting some linen or you know any of the stuff that I talked about, thank you so much for watching. If you have any specific questions, if there is a video idea that you would really love to see, you can drop it down in the comments. Feel free to DM me on Instagram. Go follow me there as well as on TikTok for tons of other just style tips, quick outfit advice, stuff like that. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, tell a friend about the channel, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.